Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today I'm gonna be breaking down a defense that has caught the community by storm about a, about a month earlier and I missed the time window from, from, to be the first on that defense because I don't do many defensive tips I didn't think that you guys would need it since there are a lot of videos out on it but I I don't I'm not quite happy with the videos that are out so I'm gonna do my version of this defense because a lot of people show how to stop the run of this I'm gonna show you how to defend the run while still having a chance to uh, stop the pass i'm talking of course about nickel 335 wide it's a very good defense cover two man that's what you're gonna come out in personnel if you really face a lot of runners and you're really afraid of runners then make sure to have two people in here that have inside stuff right here and right here arik armstead and nick bolson need to have inside stuff this is my lab team, so I put the block shed all the way down to zero on these guys. So I'm gonna put in some other people that don't have zero block shed. I'm not gonna get any sheds. Please uh, calculate that in because, yeah. In MUT, uh, when you have good players there, you're of course gonna get sheds. Not of course, but you're very likely to get sheds. Now, I'm gonna put some people in here now just so I can pass the ball a bit. If I want to, or whenever I want to show you how to stop the pass out of this. Now, we're going to start with iPhone Close, because iPhone Close is very tough to defend. Good passes, and also some very tough runs to stop. I'm going to first show you what I do to stop the run, and then if they show me that they can pass, I'm going to show you what I do against that. The basic run defense is press, then put your uh, safeties in QB spies. How do you do that? You press triangle twice, that brings up the um, cornerback and uh, safety menu and you press triangle because you want to put the triangle safety in a QB spy then you have a lot of options you can put them in a deep half a curl flat a hook curl and inside third main coverage inside quarter blitz a QB spy you want to put him in a QB spy so you want to move the right stick to the left then he's in a QB spy same thing with X press triangle twice select X right stick to the left and they are in QB spies. Now this is going to do a decent job against uh, the stretch. I mean it's not blown up. We've seen or we've seen better run defenses. That get bigger um, stops in the backfield. But you know I like it. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It stops the run on a consistent basis. Now what's the issue with that? Um, I from close is very good for its passes. Because it can defeat that um, press style look. Basically, I think that's what they do. Um, actually, no. They, they put these outside receivers on stop and goes. And the issue with that is if they motion him out. And I'm not gonna, I'm going to go on the D-line to show that. If they motion him out and there is no coverage uh, over top, there is a chance. What? I, 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 I don't know. That's, that's, that's crazy. Um. If, you, if actually I'm, I'm gonna show it in practice mode because this is really this is surprising um, I'm gonna just look at him usually these uh, stop and goes they destroy man coverage but he kept right up with him right up with him that is really weird okay let's try that again then I mean um, Richard Sherman he's an amazing quarterback in this game I buffed him to 99 speed 99 man coverage so that might be why it's not working um, I'll try it again though also on this on the other side just to make sure that I have uh, a secondary plan once again press both of our safeties in QB spies and now it, it should work on either of the two sides it should work <laughs> I can't I can't online this this works I'm sorry for not being able to show it but even um, one other thing that people like to do out of this is they go into story goes for example and put both of these outside people on corner routes that should uh, people that know Madden know that these usually beat man coverage and if this does not get open in practice mode then I just I don't know what to do I seriously don't know what to do yes so you see this absolutely toasts man coverage the double moves should have worked the same way they didn't for some reason I don't know why but you see that man coverage isn't the move so what I would personally recommend you to do on first downs and second downs, generally people are going to run like 90% of the time. So if you want to gamble, you can just leave them in main coverage just like that. Because main coverage plays the run a lot better than uh, the zones that I'm going to put out there. 
just know you are vulnerable against corner outs and stop and goes even though i didn't do a good job of showing it they just didn't get open in general though they really destroy they really destroy man coverage now how do you defend against corner outs that is really tough corner outs are the toughest route to stop in my opinion in man 20 it's just it's a pain in the ass man it's, it truly is so what i personally recommend you to do is put outside fourths out there that's a cover four zone press triangle twice once again to get to the uh, cornerback and safety menu select for example for square then you have a lot of options one of them is outside quarter if i flick the right stick to the left put them in the outside quarter same thing the right triangle twice circle for the circle cornerback outside quarter this now does a decent job at guarding a corner out. I will show you. We'll see how they are kind of there. I mean, I can't. St I could have still thrown it. Sorry for that. That controller was on my table. <clears throat> now, I could have still thrown it, but it's a tough read. It, it's, it's a tougher read to make, um, and I'll show you why in a second. Because if I can, I'll try my best. I'll try my best to see if I can click on. Okay, so this is gonna be really tough. I'm gonna snap the ball. I'm gonna throw this. And you see that he's right there. That was a touch pass, it wasn't ideal. If that's a bullet pass, that's a pick. And in general, these are the only routes that people want to throw out of this. And now there's a play, I don't know, I don't think I have it in my audible, so I'm gonna come out in, in it. There is an unbumpable route out of this. So I form, for you guys that don't know, unbumpables are routes that if you press them, they are a guaranteed one play touchdown. This Y post, it is an unbumpable. And if you come on a man coverage against this and press and don't have an over the top zone, um, it's gonna feast. So, what they do is they come on here, they motion out. Now, if you see. Or it's a wheel route, sorry. It's sort of a wheel route and it destroys man coverage. Now, how do we guard against that? Same thing. Outside quarters, they do a good job. Oops. Reset the play. Put them in an outside quarter. It's sort of like a wheel route. You know how running back wheel routes, they beat man coverage? It kind of works the same way. So if I now want to throw this, for example, I put a corner route on Thomas, a drag route on Will Disley. You see that I can't throw... I, 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 why do you react that badly? Um, the corner route was sort of covered... I could I was able to throw it because it didn't click on and the um, cornerback reacted like trash but you see it was sort of covered the same way the corner routes uh, by Richard Sherman was covered and the wheel route didn't work at all tried it one more time just to show that it's not a fluke um, if I try to throw this wheel route now it will be totally covered totally covered that's that's a pick good luck throwing that consistently that's a pick so in general, and this also works for a lot of other formations. That's audible into close slot, uh, PA spot. I think that's the play that us people usually call. Or no, they put a uh, corner route right right here. They put their running uh, their fullback on a wheel route. Put Thomas on a corner route. Maybe Disley on a drag. And now I'm gonna quickly do my setup. Basically the same thing press two outside quarters and this user right here he has to be on point you have to be aware of deep posts and shallow posts you are responsible for routes across the middle now if you see that and i now snap the ball this corner route is still sort of covered now it got wide open there because zones in regular teams react trash but it is just about making that read tough if you're playing against a good player that makes every read correctly Good luck if you play against a person who knows that that's gonna be open. You have you're gonna have to guard it with the user. You're just gonna have to. But for, from my experience, and I usually win around uh, 18 to 20 games, which is not the world. But whenever I face a person like this and I can stop the run and I force them to pass, it's pretty much a 90 percent win. And I can usually stop them with this um, uh, with this defense. It's just about whether I can stop them from breaking runs. Usually the games go like this. I stop the run 90% of the game. And then sometimes they're just going to break a lucky run. And then it's just tough for me on offense. That's basically how I lose how I lose games. 
It's not that I don't know how to stop them. It's just that sometimes they break out. And what you gonna, what are you gonna do about that? It's gonna happen. Running the ball is like that. But in general, you can really um, stifle your opponent because these outside quarters they play amazing. And the only thing that they're kind of vulnerable against are these are simple streaks. That's the only thing that I would recommend you to watch out for. If your opponent knows uh, how to how to defeat that, a simple streak because these quarters they drop back pretty slowly, which is why they sort of stay underneath corner us but get beaten by streaks over top, so be aware of that. Like if I were you, and I, and my opponent is in a passing situation and I run this defense, the first thing that I do is make sure that the tight end is manned up. And then as soon as I see um, the two streaks breaking vertically, okay, okay, they're breaking vertically, I'm sprinting back with them. I'm sprinting back with them. I just give them the, give my opponent the impression that it's covered. A lot of the times it's tough to sprint with the wide receivers because they are 99 speed, they're really quick. But just in general, be aware of that. That's pretty much the only thing you have to uh, worry about. Corn routes get guarded, or at least people are afraid to throw them. And then you just have to be careful about posts. That's the only thing the user can guard, and the run is pretty much locked down. Now it's all about repetition. It really is. Try out different coverage shells. For example, if I were you, I would, sorry, one controller, I would, this is my base setup, and then I just out of it. If I feel like uh, there's going to be a real route to the right side, I'm going to put it, or I'm going to put a cloud flat out there, or even a hard flat if I really want to get greedy. You have to adjust out of it. I'm just giving you a base shell that does well against a lot of things but people that know what they're doing they're gonna adjust and they're gonna see what you're doing and they're gonna attack that so if i were you i would always be ready to adjust and put zones that they don't expect this word hook right here it's gonna it's gonna sort of match uh that running back right there and that's that might be an outlet for them to throw i don't know i don't run this scheme a lot i just face it and that's how i usually do it I have a base shell and then I adjust up of it. In general, you want to have the tight end manned up because tight ends are not that quick. They're, they can be guarded by man coverage uh, pretty pretty decently, I'd say. So always have the tight end manned up and then put a flat route out there um, to sort of muddy up the read. And then obviously bait with the user. It's really tough to use all these things that they might throw, but just just move around with you. It'll be unpredictable. You want to give your rush a chance to get there. Just make the read tough. Make them hold on to the ball for just that second longer. And you might get a shed. And if you force a runner to pass and then he gets sacked. He might be in a third and 17. He's not going to know what to do. In a third and 17, for example. And you are afraid of corner outs. Uh, press. Put your safeties in QB spice, put the outside cornerbacks in soft squat, which is triangle twice, then select the cornerback, left stick to the right soft squat, same with the other uh, cornerback, and then shade up, which is triangle right stick up, triangle right stick up, and then triangle L1 to play the sticks. Now, this is a first and 10. In practice mode, it's almost uh, a first and 10. So this probably isn't gonna work, but a third and 17, these zones, they're going to drop back right to that first down marker. And if you want to throw an out route that's going to the first down marker, or you want to throw a corner route, this is going to get guarded. Now, let's see if it's going to get guarded here. <sighs> not really. Not really. But just trust me, 13-17, you people that play Madden a lot, they know that this works this year. Make sure to protect the sticks. They're not going to be able to throw corner routes. Um... That was kind of like in ramble all over the place because a lot of what I'm doing is not it's intuitive for me, but it's hard to, uh, to explain. Basically, you want to ha have this space set up with the spice and the deep quarters and then adjust out of it. In general, leave the tight end man up, force the tight end to beat the man coverage, force your opponent to think that, he's, that he has to put him on a corner route. If he does that, then he can't run a corner route from the wide receiver which is tough to stop. 
routes because then the corner routes from the wide receiver and the tight end would be in the same place and you don't want to have a wide receiver running a corner route you want to have a flat fat slow tight end running that corner route in general yes this is a base coverage it stops the run it stops the pass to a degree be good with your user know what you're doing and just play it's repetition you're gonna get a feel for those routes that are good the corner routes get stopped if you have good safeties out there what I would do that's actually a pretty good tip I would really stack up on safeties if you can't afford him buy Ronnie lot get him up to at least 98 speed then he's he might he might be the best cornerback in the game you maybe not because he only has 98 speed but if you have um, if you can get him up to 99 speed with the team chemistry he's the best cornerback in the game put acrobat acrobat in there universal coverage He's going to pick every corner out for you, I promise. He's going to pick every single corner out, and he's also going to stop the run because he obviously is a safety. Put in safeties at the cornerback spot if you're facing a runner. That is my biggest tip for you guys. Um, if you want me to do a video on how to stop some meta formations like Gun Bunch, um, Near Close Flex, let me know, obviously. I'm going to do that if you guys need some help with that. I feel like I'm pretty good against meta formations. It's just whether people are going to get lucky. If people break runs on me, even though I usually stop them, um, yeah, so be it. I, that's pretty much the only way I lose games. I know what to do against everything. Sometimes he just pops around and that's it. Or he keeps popping runs. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I hope this is going to help you guys. I know it's pretty late in the Madden season. I'm, I just still want to do some videos and see if some can pop. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. Appreciate you checking it out. Subscribe. Yeah, I, I just said goodbye twice. Goodbye.